had his opportunities. He had his full opportunities to do all of that. And he came in here and lied to you and said he's here to get his reputation back. It's just one of many lies in this case, but it's a really big one. Because here we are, six weeks of your time, precious time, six weeks of this court's time, for what? For nothing. Only to go after Amber. That's psychological abuse. Elaine has gotten sued for malpractice after knowingly covering up Amber's lies. Elaine became a global meme following her disastrous blunders during the trial. But little did we know that in addition to being incompetent, she was blatantly lying in the court as well. There are grounds to sue Elaine for malpractice due to her covering up Amber's lies. But will there be a lawsuit against her? What illegal practices was she a part of? Watch till the end to find out. A user on Twitter recently shared a video shedding light on Elaine and how notorious she has been throughout the case. She posted the video along with the caption, yes, Elaine knew all along Amber was lying. In her video, she raises several key points. Firstly, Elaine was the same attorney Amber had hired during the UK case where she actually won and was able to prove that Deb had assaulted her. But this case was able to establish that Amber had presented falsified and doctored evidence to prove her case back in 2020. This means that Elaine knew all along that the evidence that they were presenting was fake, which in itself is illegal. Just look at Camille blowing Amber's fake evidence apart. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? Uh, no, that's incorrect. I didn't touch it. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Before we move any further, it is to inform our viewers that the information mentioned in this video is not intended to hurt the sentiments of anyone mentioned or thereof. Everything talked about is either based on the opinions of people or mere theories. Secondly, this person raises a pertinent point that Elaine not only took the case again in Virginia, but overcharged Amber's insurance company for it. It is a well-known fact that legal fees have set Amber back more than six million, and Elaine got a huge chunk of it. She was one of the main reasons why Amber was unable to pay ACLU and the Children's Hospital the charity she had pledged to them. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. None of the lawyers in her category charge this much for their service. Yet, despite being paid so much to defend Amber, she did a terrible job of representing her, constantly making comedic blunders in the court compilation. Not only did she just overcharge Amber, she also made it a point to hide from the jury who was paying her legal fee, which in this case was Amber's insurance company. So in short, Elaine knowingly presented fake evidence in court on behalf of Amber in front of the judge and jury, overcharged for her services, made crucial errors during the case, and tried to hide her legal fee source from the jurors. All of these factors combined hold enough weight to charge her for malpractice and have her debarred. There is a reason why Amber fired her from her legal team right before her appeal proceedings began. Twitter has not been kind to Elaine either. In addition to all the memes and funny TikTok videos, there have been several scathing tweets against her, with one user writing, I can almost guarantee Amber Heard is about to be shopping around for attorneys to help her out in suing Elaine and Benjamin for malpractice. None are going to take her up on it. This was a doomed case for her from the start. Another fan added, Yeah, Elaine, Rottenborn, The Firm, whoever all was representing Amber, they all reek of legal malpractice. It was already apparent in this trial, but here we have further proof of it. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.